CGS IIC, Mr. Shakti Nagapan, Director for Life Sciences and Pharma, CEO, Hyderabad Pharma City Limited and BioAsia Government of Telangana, and Mr. Anandya Ghosh, Managing Director, Plant Global Technical Operations Manufacturing. Our warm welcome to all the dignitaries on stage. May I request Mr. Anandya Ghosh to formally welcome our Honorable Minister and our dignitaries. Can I request him to step forward? and present a floral bouquet to our Honorable Minister, Mr. Anandya Ghosh. And Mr. Ghosh, may I also request you to present a shawl to our Honorable Minister. A warm welcome, a small gesture from our side. In the same line of thought, I also request Mr. Ghosh to present a floral bouquet to Mr. Jayesh Ranjan. Thank you for joining us today, sir. Sri E.V. Narsimha Redigaru. for uh, uh, us as a state also to be welcoming a company which has uh, respect, integrity, and doing the right thing as its core values. Moving forward, ladies and gentlemen, may I now request our Honorable Minister to unveil the plaque symbolizing that the site is now ready for operation. Sir, you will just have to step back here and unveil the plaque. Sote, the Vice President of uh, Strategic Projects in Engineering, who's come after two years, you said, right? Yes. Welcome back. Uh, welcome back to India. Welcome back to Hyderabad. He was just telling me that uh, he hasn't come back to India in a long time, so I guess Indian summer welcomes you, and I hope you have a nice stay. Uh, Mr. Anindya Ghosh, the Managing Director uh, and the Site Head for Ferring Pharma, my department colleagues, Mr. Kulkarni, Mr. Jayesh Ranjan, Mr. Narsimha Reddy, Mr. Harish, Shakti Nagappan, and to all the family of uh, Ferring, the customers, employees, uh, and partners of Ferring Pharma, and also to my friends from the media. A very good morning to all of you. Extremely delighted to be here today at the inauguration of the facility of Ferring Pharmaceuticals in Hyderabad which is being established with a total investment of approximately 30 million euros and a total direct employment of 110 people. And I have been told that this facility is truly state of the art with unique capabilities in formulation, development, packaging development and analytical development. I congratulate the entire team of Ferring on this occasion. I have also been informed that this manufacturing facility with integrated research and development operations of Ferring Pharma initially was planned in Maharashtra and was eventually shifted to Hyderabad, which is indeed a testament to the overall ecosystem of life sciences in Telangana and also the pro-business policies of the government of Telangana, which attract and which continue to attract global R&D players to Hyderabad. I'm happy to note that the company, which is a leader in reproductive medicine and maternal health, will focus on developing manufacturing urology products based on Ferring's proprietary FDG, the fast dissolving granules platform technology, which will be followed by a range of R&D and manufacturing activities in urology and gastroenterology. I'm also happy to note that the company has been developing treatments for mothers and babies for over 50 years and has a portfolio covering treatments from conception to birth. I would like to congratulate the entire team of Ferring for the fantastic efforts to promote women and reproductive health care. Recently, I've had the pleasure of announcing the entry of Pune-based further. I have been saying this uh, in the past and I will say it again. Hyderabad is that place where biology meets technology, where life sciences meets data sciences because the points of intersection of information technology and biotechnology is what makes for the, for the, for the exciting uh, opportunities that lie in innovation and disruption. And that is where I think Hyderabad really offers a great value proposition for both innovators in, um, in India and also abroad. And with its rich uh, network of scientific institutions, more than 50 strong scientific institutions based out of Hyderabad, and it, with, uh, with, a, with a solid talent pool, like I said, with a solid think force, 
lot of opportunities to create intellectual property, a lot of opportunities to create solutions for the rest of the world. So I wish Fering and the entire team of uh, you know, Genome Valley here uh, my very best, and the government will continue to support you and consolidate your efforts. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Thank you very much. ...based Bharat Serum Vaccines, which is India's largest uh, women's healthcare company. In, that very same, in this very same cluster, the company had committed an investment of 200 crores, which is Bharat Serum, in the state-of-the-art injectable and vaccine manufacturing facility that will produce women health products, rabies vaccines, immunoglobulins, hormones, among others. I am happy that Hyderabad is emerging as a leading destination for women's healthcare research and manufacturing, besides its strong prowess in vaccines, pharmaceuticals, and medical devices. Femtech is a new space that a lot of people are talking about, and I'm delighted that this space is actually shaping up well in Hyderabad. It is a matter of immense pride for me that I was here in this cluster just two weeks ago to inaugurate the facility of uh, Jam Pharma, a Canadian pharmaceutical company. Jam had chosen Hyderabad. Today, Genome Valley has a unique blend of companies across the value chain of life sciences sector, supported by extraordinary infrastructure, including industrial knowledge parks, multi-tenanted dry and wet laboratories, incubation facilities, utility infrastructure, testing facilities, and other, ingredi other ingredients required in discover, develop, and manufacture policy. This is complemented by the thriving life sciences ecosystem in Hyderabad, which offers necessary linkages such as premier research institutions, highly skilled talent pool, favorable policies, and also consistent efforts of the government to promote life sciences sector globally. Recently, I was also, uh, you know, I also traveled to the United States, had the opportunity to present Genome Valley and explore investment opportunities. I'd like to highlight that we were able to secure investment commitments of over 7,500 crores across various sectors, and I'm particularly happy that more than half of this was in life sciences sector. I strongly believe that the next decade belongs to the life sciences and healthcare, and the government under the leadership of Honorable Chief Minister KCR Garu is committed to promoting this sector and consolidating Hyderabad's leadership position as an important life sciences destination in the world. We are working with a clear goal of doubling life sciences and pharma ecosystem, which is currently valued at 50 billion to about 100 billion by 2030. And I assure you, the government will continue to work with the companies in the life sciences ecosystem to consolidate.